Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing the QQQs. I just decided to do an option trade in this very last minute here because, because I felt like it, actually, because I'm up money on the day in a beautiful short that I did today in joy as my normal gap trade, and I have 100% conviction the market gaps up in the FMC minutes announcements today after 2 o'clock. So we'll see what happens. I did it with a strike price of 114, which is where I think it goes through. Okay, so I'm doing something a little bit different here. Target is 114.50, 115, 116, and an all-time high for the market. So the market could rally and make a new high right now today. And if it doesn't, it could go up to 115 today, or I, I really think it could even get up to 116 today. I know that sounds crazy, but here's what I think it can happen. And, uh, and, and if we rally up to 114.50, 115 today and close, looking like that, I think we run up in the post market tonight. I think we gap up tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is Thursday. I think we close the week with a strong rally and follow through higher into the end of the year, which is what I've been saying all along. We have been making new highs in the QQQs this year. Slow and steady as she goes, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, this, you know, to people, this looks bearish. The gap down here on Friday was real. I talked about this in the room this morning. People don't understand gaps. I, you know, I wish they would. But this is why people come and take my gap class. This was, this was real. I mean, this was real on Friday. It's the reason the Adobe gap didn't follow through, even though it gapped up. And it was, a, it was a bearish gap. You could have shorted on the day. Now, I didn't do it, but you could have. Why? It was a gap down. It wasn't the red in the market. It was the fact this was a gap, okay? And people need to understand gaps and read gaps. Now, did I think this would change the trend in the market? No. But was this something I expected to see? No. And I talked about it. I was like, when I saw that on Friday morning, I thought, crap, because it was completely unexpected. And then we had the follow through on Monday but we bounced. And I said we'd hold on Monday morning. We did bounce, but we fell hard until we did. And now everyone is scared and scared and scared and scared and scared and scared and worried. But again, I, I see a, 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 a rally that's going to happen into the minutes. So I guess we're going to find out. But I will tell you right now, if for some reason that we do not rally on this minutes, we will never make a new high before the end of the year. And the market will actually end up closing the year bearish. And I don't see that happening at all. I see what the market needs that has been trying to get going and trying to get going and trying to get going is this whatever today. Whatever they say, whatever happens, whatever the expectations are, whatever at two o'clock. This is the what the market needs to do it into the move and follow through tomorrow morning in a gap up and make another new high in the QQQs and rally until the close of the year. We don't have that much more time left. And that's what I'm saying. If we fall on this news and hold the drop and gap down tomorrow, we'll never make a new high before the end of the year. I, I don't see that happening. I absolutely do not see that happening in any in any way. Could it happen? Yes. Do I think it's going to happen? Not not whatsoever. Like not even close. I don't think it happens. But you will always get these things where you have, you know, things that happen unexpected, which is what happened on the Friday. Okay. But it was because of the gap, not the red day, and that's where you have the follow through. So today we gapped up. Our, uh, yesterday we gapped up. Rally had a hard rally, but then fell into the resistance. Today we gapped up. Didn't go anywhere. Why? Nothing was going to happen anything today because of the market waiting for the minutes. But I call this neutral even though we're red because we gapped up. We did gap up. Try to go higher, fail. This is basically back and forth, back and forth in yesterday's trade range. Waiting for something to happen here. Everyone's waiting and waiting and waiting. So I did 114 options looking at 114 to get it through the strike price of 114. Targets here, 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 and a new high, 116. I think we closed the year over 116 in the queues. You know, I, I just, you know, we'll, well, today though is the day. It is the day today. Because if we don't do it today after 2 o'clock and rally and continue over the high, today or tomorrow by the end of the week, we don't have enough time. We don't have enough time. And if there's negative news today, it makes us gap down tomorrow or fall today after 2 o'clock, we, we do not have enough time for the market to continue and make a rally over the high which is how I've seen the whole year set up. So there's nothing here to make me see that's not going to happen. Even though we have the gap that wasn't expected on Friday, it wasn't good on the day. But in the long term, overall chart didn't damage a thing. And then we acted as expected on the Monday. And the last two days, really. Because we're waiting. It's like Tuesday we're waiting and Wednesday we're waiting and everything's waiting. So the people that are selling out are the people that don't know what to do and aren't sure and are concerned and don't know what to do. 
but this is an institutional selling. And I think the buying comes in today after two, so I guess we're going to find out. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh. If you would like to sign up for the Golden Gap class, the last class of this year is this weekend, December 19th and 20th. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com to sign up. Ooh, there was an invisible tag. Did you see that? Where'd it go? 1370. Oh, my Lanta. All right. Well, I think that was an invisible tick. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see. I'll do a video afterwards, after 4 o'clock or maybe later tonight. And in the meantime, if you want to understand the importance of gaps and what it really means to your trading, I don't, I don't think you can make money as a day trader unless you understand gaps because they're so critical in a chart. If you're in something, if you need to get out something, if you want to read the market, if you want to day trade for money, so important and people don't understand them right. But they are vital. It's just you have to be able to read them. Have a great day, everyone. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.